Hey everybody, it's Tim, and I want to talk about Nordic American Tankers, or NAT stock. Now, this one I don't currently have. Someone asked for an update, so I figured I'd talk about this one. I haven't talked about it in a while. It is up massively. It's up about 20% here as of this upload. You'll notice just a huge kick of volume came in. Uh, they didn't beat their earnings, but their earnings, their uh, revenue side of things, was an improvement quarter over quarter. Now, you'll notice here that I put a support and a resistance line here. It's very likely that we're going to test this 215 level if we start coming down. And if we try breaking out further, we're going to likely test this $260 level. Now, with a huge move like this, you can definitely expect a little bit of a pullback, some testing of lower levels. So just look out for that 215 level. See if we break it. If we do, we're probably going to test, you know, 190 or so. Now, looking at the RSI, it is a little bit overbought and the MACD is starting to curl. Um, but what a move it just had. For those of you that rode the momentum, congratulations. I was definitely late on this one. Uh, by the time I checked, it was already up 20%. So might be asking, why did this run so much today? Let's check it out. They did just release their earnings on uh, February 25. So we're going to look into a few notes there. But first off, so we have news here today that the founder and his son have bought a whole bunch of shares at 205. And that just caused this nice run up here today. And you see here it was 1.435 million that they have total. And I'll leave this link for you guys so you can read this. And I'll also leave a link to earnings so you can look at it in more detail. But I'm just going to give you a couple of key points here. Now, you might be wondering with this amount of shares that they have, this 1.4 million shares, just about, uh, you might be wondering, well, you know, how much of the company is that? You know, because it's good to know how much control they have over this if they started selling potentially. And uh, it helps to have some context here. So what I did was I got the market cap and I divided it by the share price. And that's going to give us the total outstanding shares that the company has available. And you'll see that we have 192 million shares. That 1.4 million that they have isn't too huge of a chunk of that total outstanding shares. So one thing to mention though is that this is a pretty common occurrence. They do relatively often buy shares. And last time I covered this one, it was actually about them buying more shares as well. So they still are operating at a loss with an EPS of negative 12 cents for the fourth quarter. They did sell one of their vessels, the Nordic Mistral, and they currently have 23 units now. And they did use some of that capital to pay down debt. And they currently have 245 million in debt or 23 units. They have 11 million per vessel of debt. And they do expect that the tanker markets will gradually improve during the year and hit an inflection point in utilization that can create a very interesting market for their fleet. With global oil inventories at low levels, this could happen sooner than later, they state. Their price to book is under one, which looks good. Price to sales right under two, which is decent. So if you can catch this maybe in the low 215, even set a stop loss at some major supports. So if we break it, for example, 215, I'll show you on the chart real quick. Say we were to come down towards this level, you could potentially get like 220 to 215. If we drop under there, you could set a stop loss at like 210, maybe a stop loss a little bit under this 209, somewhere around two, possibly even a little under two. So if we do pull back, you know, and we get back to this 150, you're not taking as big of a loss. But that's just if you want to play the momentum. Um, you know, we are pulling back a bit now. We're likely going to close over the 21 and 13 day. So that would be nice to see. And maybe this can continue for the rest of the week. But uh, I currently am not in this one. I'm going to wait and just kind of see where things go. You know, potentially just play the momentum if we start running again, set a stop loss and just let it ride that momentum. But let me know how you're going to play this one. Are you long term on this? Let me know in the comments below. Thanks as always guys, and I will see you next time.